last hope for the Mariners. And he gets the hit to tie the game. Driving it to the gap. And he'll try for second. Gordon's throw comes in on two hops. Safe at second. And the Mariners have tied. This ninth inning locked up at 3-3. Go the other way. Base hit. Here comes Frazier. Coming around third. He's going to score. Ty France has done it again. And the Mariners have a 4-3 lead here in the ninth inning. Arise. Can't get it. It gets under his glove and past Correa. Rounding third. Betts will score. And the Dodgers take the lead. And a base hit to right. Freeman scores and Turner will be held. It's a base hit for Turner. Another 3 2. That's to the gap in right center field, and Kepler won't get it. Might clear the bases. Turner. Muncy, Trey Turner scoring, and it's a four run inning, still nobody out. And, and that's belted to left field. The wind will push it. Larnick is back at the wall. Gone! Salvador Perez ties the game with his second home run of the night. At second base, and luckily for the Twins, the bobble came right to the bare hand, and now here's a home run to left. And Tyler Duffy's getting hit hard here in the sixth. And the Royals have their first lead. That's hit to center. Celestino back. That ball carrying. And that ball's gone. Baez with a three-run home run. And the Tigers take the lead. Very deep to left field. Take the lead on their fourth solo home run. By Duran, by the way. This one hit hard to right center field. And there's another one. A fifth solo home run for Baltimore. Deep to the right field corner. Off the wall. A late start by the runner, and he will score. Now the runner at first is fallen down and I think he ran into Miranda this season so far every team has struggled. right field and deep Kepler going back it's over his head one hopping the wall Bethencourt scores Loriano will be held on a double by Seth Brown tonight has just one strikeout so far and that's doinked into short center and it'll score two Twins had the infield in Murphy drives in two with a flare. Uh, but Pecan with an ERA south of two, and Castro blasts another one. Deep right central. Forget about it. Upper deck. Thank you very much. A two homer day for Harold Castro, and we're tied. Candelario connects to center. Celestino backing up, giving it a look at the wall, and it's past it and gone. Jamer Candelario for two, and the Tigers snatch the lead. There's a ball hit into the gap in right center field. A base hit, one run will score. Blanco around third, he's being waved home. And the throw to the plate, not in time, and the Royals have tied it with three hits in the eighth inning. Duffy. And a base hit left field. Merrifield around third, he'll score. Larnick needs to hustle to get it back in, and they'll hold the runner at third base on a double by Bobby Witt Jr. Left center field and deep. And the Tigers take the lead on Cameron's first home run. Left center and deep. And gone. So the Yankees can go deep, too. A couple of solo home runs. Deep to right field, and we have a tie game. Another Yankee home run, and the misplay really comes back to bite the Twins. One and one. To left field, a base hit. Judge to third, they're going to wave him around. Larry's got a good arm, throw to the plate, off target, and now the throw to second. In time to get the runner there. 
long hold by Duran. Now a chopper through the hole, and the Yankees lead by two. Jawan Duran has not retired a batter. He should have on the ground ball. To center and deep. And we have a tie game. Reyes hitting his fourth. He got nothing but breaking stuff. That's to center. And it'll be a base hit. And Gonzalez will come around third. Buxton's throw all the way home to Jacks behind home plate. And him in for 27 pitches. Here's a fly to left. And back is Larnick at the wall. It's gone. And Cleveland's drawn to within one. Full count to Gonzalez. Deep down the left field line. Larnick chasing it, and it is gone. And the Guardians have taken the lead. Just the second home run for Gonzalez. To center and deep. Back is Celestino. Off the wall, in play. A run will score on a double by Naylor. And the Guardians have the tying run at second with nobody. Looper to left center down for a hit one run will score Larnick charges are sending the runner here's his throw to the plate not in time and Cleveland has tied it up deep enough to score the run and the Guardians have struck for four runs here in the top of the ninth and have taken a one run lead base hit up the middle and the Guardians will take the lead. More lead inning issues against Cleveland. Down the line, fair ball into the corner. An extra base hit. And the tying runs now at second for Jose Ramirez. Bullpen if he can come get the job done. Fly ball, deep left field. Gordon looks up, gone. Toward the hole, Correa with the throw wildly to third. One run will score, and the Guardians will tie it up. Be the High fly, right center field, and deep. I think we've had enough of the Cleveland Guardians. Nobody there. Abreu around third, and we're tied at two. Just punched it through an open left side of the infield. Into left field, a base hit. Robert around third. Celestino's throw coming through way offline and past both the catcher and the pitcher. Both runners will move up. Celestino had no chance. Vaughn is hanging tough with two strikes. Deep to left. And we're tied for the fifth time. At home. Base hit for the White Sox. Beat the Twins for the first time this year. And that gets by Gordon. And Tavares will put the Rangers back in front. Simeon flying around second, and he'll gain third base. Into short center, and that'll drop for a hit. Simeon will score, and the Rangers lead by two. Garver wanting to play against his former. Deep to left field. Here a back at the fence, leaping, and it's gone. A home run. With two men aboard. Engel pops a three-run home run, and the lead is four. Worst drafts, or will be. Here's a blast to center field. Buxton going back, but Mancata has a home run into the shrubs. His fifth of the year with a man aboard, and it's six to nothing. It would be Houston and Seattle 
out of the west. Here's a deep drive to left, and that's hit a long way. And that's gone. A home run for Andrew Vaughn, his third hit of the ball game. Turn a quick double play just to get you off the field. Deep to the left field corner. Gone. And it has been a rugged outing for Joe Smith. Popped up. Very short right field. Kirilov with the catch. Here's the throw, and it's not a good one. The Brewers will win. Pass the rise, and the game is tied. A one hopper. Three singles in the inning, and it's two apiece. Doink to right. Another base hit. A Padre run. They take the lead. And they'll have runners at first and third again. One little flare. And Celestino was back by the warning track. And a base hit up the middle. Badu's giving the Tigers the lead. A ground ball with the infield shifted. And the grounder hit just to the left of second base. Fulmer, of course, pitched last night on the ground towards the seam and through. Haas around third. He'll score the tying run. And it's three apiece here, and the Tigers still threatening in the seventh. Again, for the game of two in the fifth. Sharply hit, and that eats up Correa. That ball blistered and got by him. The Tigers will take the lead. And runners again now at first and third to the backhand side. Strikeout and ground out. Breaking ball hammered to center. And it's another single and another Tiger run. Badu coming in from third base. A three. Another pitch. Another weapon for him to have. Cracked to the right field corner. And that'll be a run. Rounding third, heading home. Bichette making it a 4 2 ball game. And through the hole to left. Curiel will score. Merrifield coming around. Gordon's throw cut off. And it's two more. And a scalded line drive to left that'll reach the seats in a hurry. Three more for Guerrero. And a disastrous eighth inning for the Twins' bullpen. Oh, my. To center field. Down for a hit, it'll tie the game. Three singles in the night. Deep to left. On an 0 2 pick. And the Dodgers take the lead. 90s velocity, also the breaking ball you saw 2 0. Left center, case by cave. Gone. And two to the left field corner, laying out and missing the ball is Gordon, and the Angels will tie it up. Sierra flying around second, flying around third. Correa's throw to the plate in time to get him. Drive right center field and deep. Just the third walk-off win for the Angels this year. Critically important. Drilled into right field. And Simeon's going to score. Seeger rifling a shot into the corner. And the Rangers take a 3-2 lead. Drilled to center, a base hit. Seeger around third, he'll score. And the Rangers get at least two in the 10th. Foul something off high in the zone. Drill to center. And two runs will score. And the Rangers open up a 3 1 lead. Second hit of the inning, but this rally for the Rangers and it won't make anybody's highlight reel. High and deep down the left field line. Cave in the corner. Tied. If I'm 
If I'm Hamilton behind the plate, I'm telling Jeremy Riak, look, man, we got a pitcher, a position player pitching. Let, let's open this thing up a little bit. They sit to left, and two runs will score. Hazley, Payton are in. And the White Sox are playing good ball. To left field, deep down the line, in the corner, gone! Grand slam, Elvis Andres. Number 54. center field and the game's tied. A ground ball right over the rubber, right over the second base. And it isn't. That's a fair ball. And it'll run all the way to the corner. It'll clear the bases. And Aaron Hicks with a base away from the bag. And there it is. And by Palacios and into foul territory, two runs will score. They got the ground ball, but not fielded by Palacios. Back. If they go back out there again. Base hit up the middle. The Guardians get a run. Went to a fastball. And grounded right over the mound into center field. Jimenez scores a run. And a Base hit into center field. It'll tie the game. Rosario comes through, and it's three apiece. Oh, to Rosario. Tie game. And the winning run now is at first. Runner starts to go, and here's a ball hammered into the left field corner. And gone. Rosario with another home run against the Twins, and the game is broken open again. Down the line. Fair by a foot, and the Royals take the lead, and Perez digs for second. Softest hit ball. Oh, right field and hit pretty well. Going back is Cave. And that's off the wall. It'll score one. It'll score two. And a really, really rough inning for Trevor McGill. Wow, they're, they're cheating on that fastball. But geez. Some of them have been hit hard, some of them not. It's another double. Two more runs for the Angels. And six hits allowed in seven at bats by Trevor McGill. One of the real disadvantages to being down on one knee as a catcher. And that'll get the run in at least. Deep to right. And off the base of the wall, it'll be a double for Abreu. Peyton comes in, and the White Sox take the lead. Regular season was supposed to end. On the ground and through for a base hit. Cave charges Pollock around third. He's going to score, and the throw comes through. And that'll... 